It's your tea. What are you Thanks. drinking? It's a mixture of all different tea from your store. Yeah. Yeah. We're live, we're live, by the way. So oh we my can God. tell everyone. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, TQ here, JQ, and Mariko Sato, uh, the the one and only. Yeah. Thank goodness Thank the world's the world's too small for two of you. I think. Um, yeah, at least Chicago is. Yeah. Um, how are you? Oh my God, nice to see you guys. Nice to see you too. I feel like I don't see you at all anymore. I know, uh, it's strange. It's strange it's really time. Strange. It is. <laughs> um, so I'm drinking something really special. Yeah. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, tea from your stores. Uh, it has lavender, lemongrass, uh, licorice, licorice. Licorice, yeah. Uh, chamomile and Konig's Katzenblatter. You know this? Konig Katzenblatter. Maline, yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, I'm Abdul saying hi and Reet. They're both on watching you. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, you you kind of made like a Long Island iced tea without alcohol from all of our ingredients. Just like throw <laughs> everything in a pot, huh? Well, uh, you are a part cheers. of it. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> yeah. Are you drinking? Everyone ice? knows that Mariko's favorite is not a Long Island iced tea, it's a margarita. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, no. That that that's a year ago. <laughs> that ship has that's sailed. That's the old money. Yes, talk. it did. <laughs> what's By your way? What's your new poison? My new poison is a uh, half teas. Uh, the mixture. It's really really amazing. Do you see the color? It's purple. Oh, cool. wow. oh, it has hibiscus. I forgot. Hibiscus. Okay. Hibiscus, I was gonna say. Yeah. I was like, I don't think any of those herbs would make it. Purple. <laughs> yeah, it has hibiscus. Not dirty too. cups. Yeah. <laughs> and I also uh, make it cold, which is oh, really yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, I, w I went Japanese for you. Um, I'm drinking some sencha green yeah, tea. Yeah, I know. You like that. Yeah. yeah I, I'm a green tea head. <laughs> you, you are more Japanese than I am. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I wish. I <laughs> wish. I, no, I you think, do. you know what, look, you know, to, to be stereotypical for a second, look at your cool background, look at your cool scarf, look at your awesome tea mixture. I fail. If I'm Japanese, I'm failing pretty badly, I think. No, look at your cool. hair. That's Japanese. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> you have Japanese hair and Japanese taste in tea. It's true. Well, I, you know, I, I, it's one of my favorite parts about myself is my Japanese side. So um, that's great. Um, Pops being serious. Papa Q says, Kampai. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, Prost. Hey, Thank Therese. Says, Thanks Prost. for joining us. Prost, yeah. Hey, so uh, I guess here's the first thing. So, for those of you who don't know, um, you know, Mariko is like a sister to, to us. So, when my parents are saying hi, it's like they're saying hi to their. Their, uh, their their daughter, uh, you know, their sort of adopted daughter. And she is like a sister to us. So this is kind of like a reunion of siblings who haven't seen each other for way too long. Um, so, but on top of that, so that's the joy that we get right now being- Yeah, just here. like, I want people to know, like when we go to brunch at my mom and dad's house, it's like, we all show, it's like everyone and Marika. She, and she's there ahead of time and they've been having like a great time before we got there and then it always seems like it gets less good when we're there yeah and then she stays after we leave and have then they're like we had such a great time so uh definitely you are probably the favorite child but you know it's okay i'm good with that they never had a daughter it would be it would be worse if they had another daughter and and, and then you were the favorite you know so it's all good <laughs> and also now that COVID's happening, you don't do any of that. So ha ha, we get them all for ourselves. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mariko, Mariko, how is your tennis game? 
Oh my God, I'm not aspiring. Well, I'm, I'm enthusiastic about tennis. Um, these days, I I want to play tennis, but it's been really hot the yeah. last last week or something. I wanted to play tennis. I, I did last one night, time. Last night would have been a good night to play. It's beautiful. Yeah, I know. But tennis, the, the problem is I need a partner, right? Yeah. So I don't have a partner. Everybody's busy. Uh, so I started a new hobby. Roller skating. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because I don't need partner, and I just I just skate. Uh, it's it's really really fun. Like not roller it. not roller blading, roller skating. Like roller with the four. Skating, roller skating. Do you wow. dance while you do it? Because yeah. you know, so like I said, do you like dance or listen to music while you roller skate? That's my dream. That's my goal. <laughs> so here, I just want to paint a picture for you. Uh, 1997, 98, uh, I got really into rollerblade. I mean, I, I liked rollerblading. My friends and I, yeah. Rachel used to do it too. But like my friend Corey and I, we also tried to become uh, roller dancers. Ro rollerblading, no, rollerblading like tricksters on the ramps. But we used okay. to, before we did that, we cruised around Manhattan. We both lived in New York and we'd head up to Central Park and oh you know, discovered that in the in some portion of Central Park, there was essentially a makeshift roller skating, rollerblading yeah. rink with yeah. a DJ playing. And we used to oh go up God. there and get in and people were dancing, going backwards. And like the most fabulous roller skaters in like full 70s jumpsuits and things like that, you know, oh like God. amazing sunglasses, huge hair. It was just awesome. I love it. And it's one of my, it's still one of my favorite memories of New York is going, and I didn't know it existed. We just stumbled upon it and we're like, this oh is the coolest thing ever. So there is anyway, a, that's there, my dream. That's there, my there, dream. There's an area in Venice Beach where they have the same thing. And those dancers are incredible. Amazing. Yeah, like I felt intimidated. I joined on the edge, just kind of going around because I can go backwards. I'm a pretty good skater, uh, but <laughs> uh but man. what do you call what do you call that like when you're on roller skates you're not a wallflower you're like a roll flower what are you <laughs> a wheel flower huh wheel oh, flower yeah i like roll flower too roll wheel flower, flower is really funny though yeah i think, yeah. I, think uh, I i heard it's really popular now because you know everything's closed and yeah, yeah. you cannot go to the gym and people are so bored but the need to be social distancing and uh, so and you can't and you can't find a bike yeah exactly exactly right. there's nowhere to buy a Everybody's like, on bike very now. few bikes for sale right now they're oversold yeah. there, there's I a guy who comes, there's a guy who comes down on rollerblades with mm -hmm. a speaker on his back on a um on a backpack doing sort of dance skating down my block pretty much every day i see oh him either God. going out in the morning going into the city or coming back out uh you know up virginia up leland in virginia um almost every day like i catch him probably three or four days a week i see him one way or the other and he is oh amazing God. it's just like i love watching him come in it makes me really Dream. happy yeah Dream. <laughs> you know we just need to get you a speaker and put it on your back yeah, we need we need music and fun exercise. Um, constantly, I'm looking for some new hobby now because I get so bored I'm staying at home. Mariko, yeah. is that a is that a rice cooker behind you? What is happening behind you? What's happening? What is, what is that? Machine? What is that piece of machinery? Is that some sort of is that for products or is that? Oh, this one. Yeah, he said, "Is that a rice cooker?" <laughs> yeah, it's a, I have to close some bag. Oh, it like steam. I have two. Of, it's, the it's a sealer. It's a sealer. Machine. I, I love it so much. This is like 20 year old now. <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool. Well, that's a good segue. What yeah. products do you have to steam shut? Yeah, yeah let, let's talk about what you do when you're not dancing, playing tennis, roller skating, or looking for other hobbies to prevent you from being bored. Or drinking sparkling wine with my parents. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy. Those days are over. I'm at home. <laughs> yeah. I really, I, I want to see everybody and hug and kiss everybody. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's so hard right now. So yeah. I just try to uh, be busy 
and uh, keep packing the product and um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm so grateful uh, of our customers. Uh, we, we, we get orders from your stores, from other, other customers, and I have yeah. been pretty busy uh, yeah. the, the last three months, and I cannot believe how, how it turned out to be okay. And I really cannot believe, I, I'm so grateful. So thank yeah. you so much. I mean, that's yeah. a lot of work that you thank put you. in too, you know? That's I, like putting in so many demos over and over and teaching people about the product that pays off when they can't come in that's, to learn about it, you know? Let's say what product it that's is. True. We're talking about Chidoria, right? Uh, which is Japanese uh, brand. Um, we're gonna talk about the history in a second, but that is the brand that you represent and run in the United States. Yes. Uh, yes. And that's how we met you. And I so uh, it all comes through working together that we became friends and family it's and amazing. have like, so many good memories together and uh, many more to come in the future, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah, so I feel very fortunate. This is one of those situations. Uh, I couldn't pick a better guest to sort of oh my God. be thankful for how the business has brought us um joy yeah. in more than just a professional sense thank you so much me yeah. too don't yeah. don't talk about it too much i'm gonna cry <laughs> yeah 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 i just want to see your, your yeah. <laughs> let's talk about first of all before you tell us it's a like it, it's a face care line for the most part face care right yes yes uh oh. it's uh it's new uh new chidoria um it's um it's created by a second daughter of the family. Her name is Tomomi. She's my mentor. She's my big sister. She's my uh, family. Uh, yeah. She's in Kyoto now, but uh, the organic skincare line is made by her idea and her. It's really modern uh, with a traditional uh, thing together. And um, yeah, I think uh, I now I understand the, uh, this this work because customer comes back and said it's it's really great and the ingredients are simple and I feel healthy and uh, I yeah. see re re many repeat customers uh, so yeah it's certainly one of our favorite yeah it's certainly one of our favorite lines and I think that. Um, you know, maybe can you tell us a little bit about because you're you're referring to she is you know the descendant of she's part of this family that has a rich history, but yes. maybe you know you don't have to go give us a little sense of that history because it's very interesting, right? Uh, yes, it's a uh, it's well it's long story. It, no, it's it's short story. I uh, I the first I uh, I had the opportunity to meet with her. She was already working in New York as a makeup artist and mm -hmm. already famous. And I was just a student, uh, graduated from uh, design and makeup, and I wanted to become a makeup artist. Uh, this is, oh my God, I'm an old dog. <laughs> like 93. <laughs> so I was in New York and then I met with her. And uh, she, she was just like, she inspired me so much. And she told me I don't need an assistant or anything. But I said, no, please, I, I do <laughs> And then she said, no, I don't believe people who say I do anything. <laughs> and but anyway, I stick around and uh, until today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the president of Chidoria now. So it's a, it's a family business to begin. But she really made it something new and much bigger than yeah. you can imagine. Yes. But I mean, the history is as as kind of a fashion brand, right? Or like a yes, uh, her father. Was, yes, yeah. her father had a special boutique. Uh, it's custom made uh, the clothing, the dresses, and uh, kimono and the jewelries. So it was more fashion fashion brand uh, back in forties, fifties, and sixties. And uh, Tomomi joined and uh, became a organic skincare line because we really needed it. Uh, yeah. Back in the 90s, nobody was really doing yeah. uh, natural skincare except a few brands like 
uh, Aubrey Organic. Uh, yeah. I, I just remember him. <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah, so, there were only a few. Yes, yes, so gradually uh, until today. Uh, now we have hundreds items. And I mean, the most popular one is like 12 items. You probably yeah. remember the, uh, the media. But you kind of take, yeah, I was gonna say you take a lot of um, the inspiration for the brand is coming from traditional Japanese beauty ingredients, or it's, you know, like I think there's a Japanese, there's something, I mean, it's a Japanese brand, obviously with Tomomi being the founder, et cetera, but it's kind of like Japanese global, am I right? It's like you're taking Japanese inspiration, but it's really looking at uh, Japanese inspiration, probably a certain design aesthetic, but also yes. looking at the best ingredients anywhere. So it's not about being Thank purist, you purist yes. it's about just being uh bringing a sensibility and inspiration to something that is just good that's the way i take it at least thank you for that's representing chidoria thank What's you that? you you should be the speaker of chidoria <laughs> i i'm not <laughs> nearly i'm like not you. nearly charming enough well, or or good looking no, enough really. to do that that's why they need you so he's too um, loud um <laughs> But uh, let's talk about the design, first of all, because that to me is the first thing that jumps out in a store with 13,000 products. When you, oh scan, when you scan, Chidoria really stands out because it looks like nothing else we carry, right? Thank you so much. And Thank it's you. beautiful. And just like tell us about some of how, how that came about or where the inspiration for that is. Yes, so one of the um, one of the soap, the facial soap, you remember, you tried and you mm -hmm. open your eyes while <laughs> forming in face. Anyway, that soap was uh, the Azuki red bean and brown sugar soap. Yeah. Um, I have the packaging right there. I'm sorry. It's like yeah, origami. Actually. And uh, when when we when we first came up with the idea, it it looks like Japanese dessert. Uh, wrapped in a Japanese paper, and Tomomi. Are you talking about was, the brown sugar soap or which one? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show. Thinking, I'm gonna share my screen if you let me. Jay. Thank you, thank okay. you so much. I I have it right there. I was playing with it before and I forgot. Yeah. So um, the packaging, for example. Oh yes, perfect. This is better, so your customer can find it. Yeah. Yes. So this is really still hand uh, hand wrap and they put the strings and uh, on each soap and it, now we got used to it but everything is done by hand and machine cannot do this work so it's beautiful uh, I think in the beginning let's say like 20 years ago people tried to copy we saw some interesting like looking like Chidoria products in the industry yeah. and we were laughing like oh they try so hard <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I would imagine but I'm just going to show a few things while you're talking of some of the things <laughs> thank that I you. love this is great okay uh, this is I want to talk about this one because this is my I use this every day really uh, yeah Oh, yeah. oh my God! No wonder you have beautiful skin. Well, thank you, thank you. you know, I'm I, um, to butter my brother up, huh? No, actually, that rosehip seed oil is from Germany. Yes, yes, we um, uh, uh, we we went out of our way just look for the best, and uh, Germ Germany German people produce the best rosehip oil, and the uh, rosehip oil is popular in Japan. It's it is excellent, that stuff excellent treatment is like, for scars and uh, like spots. And yeah. it, it, it smells really like, how do I explain how it smells? It smells like black tea with lemon in it, right? Oh my God, yes. It, it's and, very unique, yes. And I just, I, I stopped, I was getting like, you know, I have skin issues and, and I get sensitive and I don't overwash anymore. And so to wash my face, I just use warm water and two wow. drops of this. Oh my God. And that's my, that's my nighttime routine for my face. That's it. I love it. Yeah, it's great. It works amazing. It cleans all the dirt off and leaves me with a little bit of oil that's healthy, you know? Oh my God, that's excellent tips. Mm -hmm. I think there are lots of men's customers uh, suffer with dry skin, like dehydrated skin, especially you have to shave. So yeah. 
uh, sensitive skin like you have, that's a great tip. I, I, I think that's a great one. Um, I, I remember a lot of um, people, the, um, the knowledgeable staffs you have at your store, they like this combination, uh, the peach moon herbal water and the rosehip oil together. Yeah and uh, rub, rub together the both products and just do like this. And it's, it's very hydrating without feeling greasy. It's very yeah. refreshing and it's- I need a new photo on this one, but this is the Peach Moon Herbal Water, which is amazing. So. I, I love how you can share the screen. I'm like grandma. I don't know what you're doing, but it looks awesome. It's magic. It's magic. <laughs> uh, you have to take a, a class on it. This is uh, great. <laughs> I, I was showing before, uh, you know, and I know I'm kind of just jumping all over the place, but it's because I'm so excited about it. I love uh, these brushes. And I think that I just, I, and I, I don't, I don't dislike cats, but I'm allergic to them. I love not, this. I'm more of a dog guy, but I love this brush, the cat brush. You can get it without the cat as well. But it's great. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes this brush unique? I want to show those are literal. This is boxwood, right? Yes. And those so the each... pins, uh, these pins yeah. are made of Japanese boxwood. Uh, in Japanese, it's called tsuge, and it's very traditional. Um, the hair brush. Uh, we also have the comb. This is even more traditional comb, but this is modern yeah. way to take care of your hair and it literally makes your hair shiny Tea. and Bob also sharing so we can massage see. there you go massage your scalp it's really excellent this is this is my favorite brush it, it goes uh, deep onto the scalp and uh, without hurting your scalp because yeah. the, each pin, uh, it's made kind of round and soft. Well, and and, and I, I think I, I'm reading our description, but I remember you saying this, that like the boxwood brush, the wood is dried for more than three years. So it's a very, yeah, the very total. it's like a dense, dense wood. So it's really good, yes. it's strong. It doesn't feel like you're using something that's gonna splinter. And then the idea is you use the Jap the camellia oil, right? Is often yes. used with it, uh, which is very traditional. And that I always kind of think of that as like the sort of silky look of that people sort of want from you know when you have like oh perfect Japanese hair. It's like this silky, <laughs> like your silky hair. look. Shine. And like, I feel like um, there's a shine to it. But you yes. know that. But I feel like this is certainly part of that beauty secret. Thank you uh, for I, thank you for reminding. Yes, this is this is. I think this became very popular at your store. You did uh, because you didn't have something like this. Uh, even though you carry many amazing hair brushes from uh, yeah. Europe, uh, this is from Japan. Something something that we uh, our like mother grandmother used to use and. Yeah. It's, it's really effective and, and such a thoughtful design. It's handmade. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. I know. Yeah. It is. <laughs> you just want to sleep. to hold, yeah. I know, I know. That's the thing is I love it. Every time I see it, I always just like touch one side of it and just go like, oh, it's an object that's just perfect, you know? Thank um, you hey, so I want to share some love. So, hey, John, how you doing? And you're getting uh, Ryoko Sato? is saying, I love Chidoria products and Mariko-san. Really? That, oh, my. Yeah. Oh, yes. I... <laughs> yeah. he's, he's a great friend and customer. It's from Japan. Awesome. Oh, my awesome. God. And then uh, a good a longtime friend and sort of cousin uh, of ours, Yasmin Dalal, uh, is saying, I love both of those products, the Peach Moon Herbal Water and Rose Hip Seed Oil. Uh, but she's never used so them much. together. She's never used them together, so now you have something new to try. Uh, Great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It doesn't take long. Wherever you go, uh, people seem to find you and get happy. I don't know. That's my impression. <laughs> I just feel like it doesn't happen. Like if you just stand near the tennis courts for a while, do people, is it like, how long? You're like, best tennis of my life. Yeah. 
people are like, hey, you're awesome. You know, that's that's kind of how I view your life as like you oh just go God. places and people eventually find you and then and then like tell and you they're just showered with joy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I don't know. I, I think about what 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 I can offer to 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 people in the world is the, just this. I, I, I just have this me. And I, I do me, and uh, what I can do is I just smile, I'm happy. I'm and you give, when it's non-COVID times, you give great hand massages too, I will say. I told Jay when we talked about you last week, I was like, you know what, I, miss the, I really miss seeing her in the store, but I also miss like, she'd see me stressed out and be like, come here. And then you'd like put some oil and, and spray some, you know, <laughs> peach moon herbal water on my hand and then be like, here, and just rub it into my hand. Uh, and I like turn into, you know, just, I am basically a cup of camellia oil at that point. I just like, oh, it's so good, you know? Um, That's true. I, 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 I do that to my friend too. Just like, yeah. you know, I see somebody really stressed out and I just want to do something and just, like relax. Would, would you be open really to nice. putting on a mask and coming sitting outside behind my house and then just doing that for my hand? And I would do it for yours too. And then we could wash hands because I'm yeah. definitely, that's a risk I'm willing to take for sure. <laughs> I will say, I don't think that that would be like scientifically, we could prove that scientifically that could never spread anything bad. <laughs> so. Love, it could spread love. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you, if you hate love, then it's bad. Therese <laughs> says, I found Mariko at a picnic. Yes. Oh, a picnic. Oh. At, the cult, at, at, at our family picnic uh, that you've so you know, that you've been The one to that you. our grandparents met at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love your family picnic. It's so awesome. Every, everybody's so friendly and just, and then me. It was really fun. Yes. I, right. miss, I miss those activities. I do. I know, you know, I was traveling last year during the one last year and now it's called off. It's sort of, um, it's been tough to be without it for two years straight now for me. Uh, yeah, my, you know? yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm hoping those days, I mean, it, I know it's, it's hard to come back, but uh, we, we, I, I want to go picnic with yeah. some people. Yeah. And yeah. I want to go back to uh, for dancing someday. Someday. I know we haven't we haven't talked much about dancing, but you are like if the, in the movie Dirty Dancing, you would be the evil. You would be the supposedly bad influence on the town. Oh, That's how much you love dancing. You make Kevin Bacon look like you know just sort of an occasional dancer. That's a different movie, but thanks. Point taken. What? That's a different movie. Oh, not Dirty Dancing. Footloose. Yes, Footloose. Yeah, you like Patrick Swayze and Kevin Bacon rolled into one, uh, except much more attract. You know, you're, you're, I, I find you to be, uh, you know, pref preferable to both of them. But anyway, Reed, that's said, Reed, Reed, Reed says that Mar Mariko gives great face massages too. Oh, th thank you for mentioning. I, I, am a, I am a certified esthetician now. I went to Aveda Institute two years ago. Yeah. Amazing experience. I love it. And I, I do. I do love doing aesthetic, but now uh, it's COVID. So everything's hold. Uh, but yeah, I, I do the face massage. So uh, what I do is it's like the quick massage to kind of like lift, lift your face. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can try that too. It's so easy. Yeah, let's so, do it. Um, just hold, hold your face. You, you don't really need product. I mean, yeah, it's good to have products like the massage oil or yeah, my, my oil. Skin's, my, I have oily skin anyway, so I don't okay, need so Okay, so just uh, try to like hold your face like this. Yeah, gently. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always upward. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I, I couldn't help but channel my, 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 my deceased Uncle Arif there. That's, that's an inside family joke, that, but it's still funny either way. Oh, my God. So, anyway, what I do is, it's like, you know, you think about the whole day, what happened, and, oh, it was so much fun. And it, it's like, 
caressing your cat. It just it feels so good, and you just do your scalp too, like this. Ah. It just feel good, and and you know you can do right. this. It, it's it, it feels really good. You do this. It, it you do this every night, feels. just quickly. It legitimately feels amazing right it's now. Good, yes. Like, I don't go around touching my face a lot just because I feel like eh, whatever, but I should do it more often. It's yes, really oh, of course. We With wash our hands first, and then yeah. Show us your shirt, T. Yes. Wash your hands, bro. Yes, it's important. Yes, yes wash <laughs> your hands and try this quick massage uh, whenever you remember in the morning or night time. It's a, it's good to, it, it's a yeah. good to touch yourself. You know, it's like this. this I've always thing. thought so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because not, not, not everybody get massage all the time. That yeah, you right now, yourself. very few. Yeah, I, I'm, my dream is, uh, I, I think I'm, this is great. And I need to do more of the self care, especially around face. Like yeah. I do a lot of rolling on, tools and I do a lot of you know self-massage when I'm watching yeah. tv or whatever uh, on my neck and shoulders and stuff but um I don't touch my face too often and I, my dream is I'm missing the joy of just sort of relaxing and letting someone else kind of take control of take have control you know and just yeah. like do the, do that relaxation for you um and I kind of think like I hope we get to the point that testing rapid testing is like at home where you could just be like hey we're gonna come over i'm gonna go see my favorite massage therapist or my friend mariko or whatever yeah. and like we both just do a quick rapid test we have some tea and in like 20 minutes we're like we're good let's get into it that's all that's what <laughs> i want you know <laughs> yeah i guess yes yes i think they in the industry a lot of hairstylists and estheticians and everybody wish to to go back to work um yeah. soon it, 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 it is challenging but i i'm hopeful um yeah it's it's because it's really good to maintain your your health take care of yourself um yeah what other tips do you have like other I mean, the products obviously are amazing, but what else? Like, uh, so please. this is just what I what I do sometimes in Japanese uh, Japanese character. Uh, we have fifty sound. Uh, yeah. It's katakana or hiragana, and they are fifty sounds. Uh, it's like this: a, i, u, e, o. A, i, u, e, o. And ka ki ku ke ko. Ka ki ku ke ko. Sa si su se so. Sa ti su te so. Ta chi su te to. Ta chi su te to. Na ni nu ne no. Na ni nu ne no. Ha hi hu he ho. Ha hi hu he ho. Akasa tana ha. Ma mi mu me mo. Ma me mu me mo. I switched two of them. Ya i yu ye yo. Ya. Yi, yu, yu, ye, yo. La, li, lu, de, lo. La, li, lu, de, lo. Wa, i, u, e, o. Wa, i, u, e, o. Last one. Mm. That's awesome. Mm. Last one. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 50 sounds. Nice. Really <laughs> yeah. So what is no, that? I do this. What is that? So it, it's a. It, is that like, it's doing like learning the alphabet? learning alphabet? Yeah. The Japanese and I just noticed when I say these words while the water skating, 
I felt like my face was exercising too. And I thought, oh, great. A, I, U, E, O, K, I, K, 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 you know. So Jane, uh, I, I think, think that, there's a song idea in there, like a roller skating, <laughs> a roller skating jam, uh, you know, that. I that, have to entertain myself. That can also teach you Japanese. That's really good. <laughs> Exactly. And make your face look good and feel good. Well, I love I love Japanese. When I was there, I noticed something about the language, <laughs> which is that they they never have two consonants next to each other. There's right. always a vowel between every consonant, right? Yes. And and so so what that allows you to do as a rapper, I can tell you, oh. what that allows you to do is say it very fast. Oh wow! Yeah, you can speak very fast because now say 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 um, what's, a, what's what's a good long word in Japanese? Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu, right? Ah, now, I love how you say it. So now, beautiful. Now try and say clasps. Speaking of which, <laughs> you, you had to pick. Yeah. <laughs> you had to pick the worst one of all time. Now now say. Clasps, speaking of which. Clasp, clasps, speaking of which. Yeah, you can't say that fast. No. <laughs> because there's SPS, there's a cl, there's a sp, there's like, those are so hard to make your mouth do it. But, oh, okay. if, but, but if you were to ask a Japanese person who, who does, who hasn't, um, learned English that well yet, or, or doesn't know English to say that, yeah. They would say "kuraspus," right? Kuraspus. Kuraspus. Kuraspusu. of <laughs> right? Like they always put a u. They put a little u, huh? Yeah. Oh, I have, I have good, I have good one. McDonald's. 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 What is that? Uh, or oh, like chocolate. Chocolate. I love my favorite is dry cleaning to ten, <laughs> which is dry cleaners. <laughs> so when I was there, I noticed that people speak so fast, but it's really just one consonant with the vowel in between each time. Which so so when you're doing the alphabet, that makes a lot of sense actually. Wow, that's so fun. Dry cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Did I? Could so you were looking for a new hobby. I think we found it. You need to become a rapper now. Well, there's you something already... so rhythmic about the way yeah. Japanese is spoken. It's so rhythmic, you know. Wow. Can you can you try the the song uh, as we are ending this soon? I guess <laughs> I want to hear some beat <laughs> uh, of dry cleaning song. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I love I love the Japanese language. And when I was there, I learned a bunch of phrases. Obviously, they're gone, but it was 17 years ago or something, 16 years ago. Um, but I will say I have never had a more delightful time or a more friendly place to visit and amazing food i mean oh. out of control mm -hmm. the food was so amazing, amazing. and going to I the food market to... in tokyo at five in the morning as it opened and this and this guy's cutting a sushi sashimi and the fish is still flopping and i'm eating the piece off of it oh, oh the freshest ever it was amazing <laughs> I remember my mother when when she visited me in New York and I took her to one of it's not a best but it was great restaurant I used to love it going there and we as we are eating a bowl of rice I thought it was delicious with other thing of course and she said hmm this rice hmm, interesting and I'm like what do you mean I don't know Fake steamed rice. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was great. You know, I was like, yeah. oh, so they didn't 
she was she was like mm, I'm not wow well, sure. <laughs> that's like that's like uh you know south asians like us and basmati rice it's like you get like the the halfway good one or whatever and it's people are like oh this rice is amazing and then you come over and my mom makes the rice or oh my, or my relatives make the rice and it's like you didn't know what rice was before that. You know uh, what I mean? Your, your mother's Rita's uh, shrimp curry is it's like the bomb. I love, I love the curry. It, it's unbelievable. I know. I think that, that dish decided or well, made me to move to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was going to say. Close to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, beyond you could imagine it's so delicious i agree i agree yeah. that's one of my favorite dishes of all time <laughs> on that note i think i need to eat something i'm, yeah. I'm hungry we're clearly we're all hungry <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially drinking green tea on an empty stomach i'm ready to eat some you know shrimp curry <laughs> Yeah, in about four hours. I'm going to start right now. In about four hours, I'll be ready. Um, <laughs> I know it uh, takes like a half day uh, to prepare the thing. It, it, it's, it's made from scratch. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, well, I miss eating with you, Mariko. It's uh, something we need to, to do. We need to find a way to do it. Uh, you know, like, let's get outside on not so hot a day and sit like you know six feet away from each other yeah. with you with your laugh and your smile i think it's maybe their safer distance is like 12 feet because <laughs> you're always your mouth is always open and there's like a lot of there's a lot of exclamations and air going in and out when you're around and i mean that as a big compliment to you you know oh but, may i mention one last thing sorry I, I think of course i found a new favorite so because I, I, I mean, I think you wear mask too. So mask like this, right? It yeah. gets really hot. So yeah. this, this is one of our products. It's a face powder. It's translucent. The main yeah. ingredients is Japanese vegetable roots, and it's very fine. It doesn't give you any color. It's so smooth, soft. It has pearl powder, coral powder. It's very good ingredients. No chemicals. Yeah. So you kind of dust the powder first and then uh, wear oh, this. Nice. It, it makes such a big difference. It doesn't irritate your skin and then you don't get sweaty as much. And you can, of course, touch up your skin too. It's I'm bringing it home today. Yeah. Hey, Rachel was saying, Rachel was saying, She's like, I couldn't understand why I'm breaking out on my chin. And oh then my God, I know. It was like too. someone said, well, you're wearing a mask all the time. And she's like, of course, uh, you know, like, yes. uh, it's not normal for her to get that. Uh, so, uh, and my girls complain about it. So definitely I'm going to bring yes. some home and tell them, give it a little dusting before you head out the door, right? Yeah, that's yes. a great idea. Make, it's like a natural, sure put the toner, moisturizer, natural talc, yeah. And the powder. It, uh, and then put the mask on. It, it makes big difference. I notice it myself. Uh, in, in March, April, I, I had so much breakout from wearing mask and I didn't know what to do. And Tomomi told me to use the powder and I was like, oh my God, this is, I, I had it all, all these years and I didn't really realize. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You know, it's like when sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, I should have done something about this years ago. And I only had a store of 15,000 products for that. And, you know, like a hundred of which are for that thing. And I just, you know, sometimes things are right in front of you and you don't even right. see them or pay attention to them. Humans, <laughs> humans are funny, funny animals, you know? Life. <laughs> yeah. anyway. We got to eat now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Germans would say there's Essen and then there's Fressen. Right? I think it's fressen. And fressen is like they separate humans eat and humans like essen, use do essen to eat, and animals do fressen. It's like eating like an animal is a separate actual term. Oh. 
And I always like to joke that I fress, not s. Like sometimes you just like gotta fress, you know. It's like, like devour. Yeah, yeah, just like argh, eat like a beast, you know. That's that's what I need to do shortly. I'm pretty hungry. All right, all right. Let's call it there. I just thought Arigato. the language thing, you know. Anyway, how do you go? How do you got them? So nice to see you. Thank you nice so to much see you too. for today. Oh, anytime. You got to come Thank back you. again. Thank yeah, you. We love you. We love you. And next I time, you. next time we're having a, maybe a backyard brunch or something. We, we, Wonderful. You got you to gotta come, okay? Wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. All right. We'll link up Chidoria. Be sure to check it out, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Much love. Peace.